Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be a bit serious. We got a very, very big problem with this radio master boxer. And that is, <laughs> and that is, this antenna is really, really long and I'm unable to put this on my bag without removing this antenna. <laughs> it's really a big problem. It's really big. I can fit this on my bag. I, I, I got a lot of camera bag, but this won't fit just because of this antenna. And I was hoping that there will be some modification from Radio Master or they would sell a different shell that could have a much more manageable antenna. Something like the Radio Master Pocket were in this <laughs> oh, it's just a joke, Radio Master. I was hoping, really, that you could have sell something that could uh, a more foldable antenna. Because with that, we will be able to fit this on a much smaller bag. Currently, I'm unable to do so because I need to bring this over. This is a very, very big uh, bag. I know this is really good. The design is really good. But the problem is... This is really not small enough to fit in a bag, in a backpack. So, we will do a modification. I actually, I will put a link to his post and to his video. Uh, I believe it's Don FPV. And he created a way for you to fit this inside. <laughs> yeah, inside. And without much degradation on the signal. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a machine or I don't have uh, an equipment to measure the, the strength of the signal by using this antenna. So, I'll just bear with this uh, expertise that there was no problem. I, I saw another, another post from a Facebook group of Radio Master and he did the same um, antenna modification and his... Uh, there's no change in the performance of the Radio Master Boxer. So, let's go. Let's dive into this modification and hopefully this could improve our portability of this Radio Master Boxer. We will try to, of course, I have said, as I have said on introduction, we will put this antenna inside of the, of the, of the boxer so that it will not be on the way in every we will put this on a bag, a camera bag or even an FPV drone backpack because this is really, really getting out of the way. So we try to modify the whole Radio Master Boxer by inputting this 3D printed um, TPU antenna holder. Uh, the premise here is we will put it here and it will clip on and this will be held by this part of the, the, the shell and it will be very very low profile inside okay so let's go let's do this let's open this up what you would be needing is this uh, I'm not sure if this is two millimeter it's CRV CRV of oh, you can read it CRV dash no, CR-V 2.0. Okay, so we will be using it and we will try to remove actually four uh, screws. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we actually remove already the screws. So we will open this up. Just try to be very careful in case there is a ribbon cable that is showing up inside. Okay, so... The, the the boxer is actually easy to disassemble. Uh, as you can see, there is a vent here going for to this fan. And this fan is actually really, really cute and small. And this helped to dissipate this ELRS uh, module here. So what we want to do is we want to remove this part of boxer. So one thing that I need to do probably is let's see if we could 
No, it's not removable. I think there is a screw on the front. Okay, so since we will be putting the antenna in this part of uh, this RPSMA, if I'm not mistaken, we have to remove this plastic part. But the problem is the screw is actually at the other side of this board. So, what we will need to do is to open up this board. We have to remove a couple of screws here. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, six screws. Let's try to be very careful in doing this because we will try to expose the back part. No, the front part of this boxer. So, then we will try to, um, we will try to open up and remove some of these ports so that we have easy access to the front antenna. Oh, there are two more here. <laughs> so it's actually eight screws. Let's remove it. Your option is to actually remove all of this port, but I was not so keen on doing that at first. But I think we don't have a choice uh, because we don't have any way to see <laughs> the fr the top part okay so let's just remove it and let's just return everything back in order okay let's just remove first the left and right okay so we remove the different ports board here okay so we remove everything so we have to lift it from the bottom as soon as we lift it um, it will not move at all so from here okay so we are able to remove the board uh, one thing I do did is I pull this really really hard so that that 3.5 port will be free from this hole same with the other one and in, in the USB port at the top okay you could actually lift it already Move it a bit further, and there you go. We now free up the board. Try not to touch those uh, capacitors and diode, especially if you're not. If you're static, be very careful on that. So let's put it as a side. This is what we will actually remove. <laughs> These two screws here. I was hoping that they designed it differently wherein the screw is on the other side of this board. Instead, they place it in the front. So, that is a bit of a pain. So, let's just remove this. One problem <laughs> resolved. So, we have removed this already. Okay, so, let's go. Let's return back everything. Uh, try to be very careful with the rollers. So, it's okay. Okay, so once you have lined up your buttons okay so we'll try to return this back while holding this roller stretch here just to make sure that it is properly lined up so we have finally put back this board as you can see we already removed this plastic cap of the so now we will remove the RBSMA by Unscrewing this, this out of the way. Let's put, place it back again here. Okay, so now we just place it somewhere together with the two screws. Antenna. We need to find a place for it to fit. Because will be in the way if you don't place it near the ELRS okay so we try to bend this so that there is some room to there you go okay let's see if we can now close this up with no issue okay it won't close. I think it's on the way. We have to adjust. 
Okay, so this is how it looks like now. Uh, it can finally fit with the back cover, align everything before you try to screw. There you go. So everything is screwed here. So the only problem is this part wherein the the wire is actually here. So I'm not sure if that is a problem, but of course. This is how it looks like now. Let's try to open it up. And let's see if there's a problem with this mod. Okay, hopefully there are none. Okay. Let's lock it in. Okay. All right. Everything is working. And it is really smaller. <laughs> so we will end the video here. Hope to see you in the next one. Happy flying. And this is the Radio Master with a very, very small antenna. <laughs>